people listening to Bone Thugs and Harmony and my dad did not get it. Mm. And I was like, this is it. I can mm -hmm. understand every word they were saying. He just did not get it. But he also put me on Scarface and he also put me on the Ghetto Boys. So mm -hmm. I still had both of those going on. He was the person that played Pac and Biggie for me. And I was like, oh, like, so I got both waves. And when I saw, and what doesn't happen as much now, which is artists from both generations or whoever came first working together, when I heard Biggie on the Bone Thugs record, even my dad was like, oh, okay, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Notorious, yeah, my dad was like, oh. And then you see Biggie, even change his cadence a little bit because he obviously had to either be a fan or we're like, oh, this is a, this yeah. makes sense. And so as a producer for me, I have to start bringing artists that people wouldn't expect me to work with into my world and then giving them some kind of platform. Like, you know what? I didn't expect them to sound like that. Mm. You know, straight up. Yeah. yeah man. Um, so you see your father put you on it with, with Face. Yeah, and the definitely. Boys. So oh when, when, you, when you see Scarface, I know, I know you see him a lot more often now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What's that like, you know, for it's you? It's surreal? Yeah. Man, seeing, all, man, look, yeah. all them, especially you seen like all yeah. them legends, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. I remember Slim Thug, listening to Slim Thug and ESG tapes. Mm -hmm. uh, the day hell broke loose, screwed up, all that. Yeah. Um, the Scarface, the video with Ghetto Boys, Mind Playing Tricks on used to scare me as a kid. <laughs> I was scared of the video, man, you know what I'm saying? And my dad had the cassette tape of them pushing, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I can't, my, my brother went blank. They like when they hospital and they pushing them off yeah. the and stuff. Yeah. And I was like, what, like this is this is crazy. Yeah. I was like, is this real? Did this yeah. happen? Like, yeah. then you grow up and you learn the story behind all that. Right. And you go back and listen to the music, it was just raw. Yeah. Like it was, and then it, 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 it made, it, 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 then I think about how I wanted to make music. And I think about UGK and then, all the influences and it just makes so much sense because music back then you respected the OG so much and you the way you listen to the music the hip-hop art form you wanted to know and then you you learn oh LL that, that, that's that suave okay boom and Snoop Dogg and all them man mm -hmm. bro yeah mm -hmm. it's real yeah man you know, just with the racial tension you mm -hmm. coming from obviously the south yeah and but it's, it's just funny to see you got a lot of white fans man mm -hmm. I mean they love your music and mean yeah. are, are loyal to the music what have you seen that perhaps a lot of people who are in their own respective bubble kind of don't get? You know what I'm saying? In traveling. Wow. Um, man, where I'm from, man, if somebody don't like you, you knew it off the bat. I think as I travel, you know, it's, it's a lot of it more undercover. And then I think what's happened now is, and even with uh, presidential situations, there's a lot of activation to people that you might not know they was on that level. And they don't really rock with you like that. They didn't mind coming on out and telling you now. I've always know like I've I've already been a part of that being from Mississippi. So, but I can at least respect the aspect where somebody already let me know I don't rock with you like that. And so I don't. We don't. I keep it moving then. So going out and even when the um, the Clippers thing happened with the owner with the Clippers, mm -hmm. it was such a shock to people. And I was like, man, no racism isn't just only in the deep south. Yeah. Like. It's everywhere, it's everywhere, you know, and we just in the moment now where somebody don't mind putting it in your face, mm -hmm. you know. I think, you know, it's, it, it, and it, it all comes from the, uh, obviously ignorance and it's, it's, it's really about trying to figure out ways um, to really build up the unity from how and however we can. The negativity is always going to be there. How much are we going to pay attention to that? You know, we get that positivity, it starts to change the narrative. Um, Black Panther was a movie, right? But it started to change the narrative of a kid so much that you don't know what he might do in his life in the next 15, 20 years. And you ain't gonna realize it till then, but I, even with rap music, it's like I didn't realize what I was talking about in 2010 would affect how I am now as an individual and would affect the kind of fans and would affect people. So now I'm, I go back and even forever is a mighty long time. It's like, oh, I'm, I got a lot of mixed messages. I've dealt with drinking, drinking sessions. Like now I gotta start changing the narrative not only for the supporters, but for myself, because I don't feel that way anymore. Like, and I think he, not only with music, but with movies, because, you know. Yeah, yeah, but I'm bad, my bad. <laughs> Yay, uh-huh. It's 100.3 to Beat Up City, Dark Secret. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big Crit in the building with us. Hey, what's that in? Man, man, it's getting a little deep. You saw Black Panther? Yes, I definitely did. Tell me about it, though, Crit. Hey, man, I mean, I can't. I mean, for those of the people that I, I don't want to be the movie spoiler guy. <laughs> so for the people that didn't see it, man, definitely go see it, though, brother. You know, it's a lot of messages in it. And for me, man, I, I saw a lot of, for the first time, especially with news, you know, and people putting people on news. A lot of a lot of kids excited about something that they've never seen. They seen. I mean, obviously, we see a lot 
on your iPads and stuff. Like, oh, I never seen that. Black kids, like, oh, it's super, like, something that they could relate to and yeah. something that was still so connected. The spaceship, oh, see, I'm about to go say something else. <laughs> it's all I right. can't say that because I don't, <laughs> but it's it's important for people to understand, especially, like, yeah, it's black superhero, but we got, we got superheroes now, not even just in movies, but in life, and starting to build that up and that idea that you can be a superhero without a cape. You can be a superhero without a superpower. Oh, damn. Anytime you out here trying to do something positive for your people, for your neighborhood, for the world, that's, that makes you a superhero. Yeah, truly. Now, yeah. Africa, have you been yet? No, and I'm trying to go. Okay. I'm All trying right. to go. Lord right. willing, now right. this, we do a tour here in the States. We're yeah. going to dig this up right now. <laughs> then I end up out there. Speaking and of now, probably It's going to be, yo, I'm, I'm still like, not I'm Nas and Bailey. I'm like, shoot, yeah. right now, come back. I'm like, be yo, let's go to Africa. Like, you feel me? Like, yeah. Real time. And I just yeah. say that, obviously, with, you know, Black Panther to help to change that narrative. Exactly. You know, make people. Uh, just embrace our culture, who we are, mm. a lot more openly. What country do you think you might uh, uh, visit first, or maybe had in mind? Oh my God, I mean, I have no idea, bro. You just gotta get there. I just gotta get there. Okay. Oh man, there was, somebody was telling me, because obviously people get caught up in what they see at one o'clock in the morning on TV that's not a true reflection yeah. of what Africa is. And then one of my partner was telling me I should go somewhere. And Nas even said I should go there, and it's like crazy. My family from Ghana, so put oh, Ghana on the list. Put man. Ghana on the list, man. Absolutely. Bro, you know? I can't think of the place. Yeah. I apologize. No, but it's going to come to you. We put it out to Ghana then. We about to get it going first. <laughs> Yeah, we need to go ahead and connect wow. the dots. I mean, you know, it's it's, it's crazy. I, I just want to salute you, man, on, uh, you know, just representing Mississippi, man. The Mississippi River is a, is a powerful force. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Not just in this country, but when you look at it globally, man. Yes. And, uh, you know, Thank I know you, you represent it. it and that's true. I mean, uh, just just the truth, brother. I think about a lot of things. I think about Emmett Till. When I see you, I just see somebody who embodies a lot. So I thank you for what Appreciate you give it. to the people, the culture. It's definitely represented you, from a thorough and genuine place, man. And you don't shut it down. Oh, it's going there. It's going to be crazy. If you don't got your tickets, you ain't getting them. I See, this is, this is, I feel bad, right? Because I can't even be like, oh, <laughs> but just call. Like, I can't even do none of that. I mean, you know what? You got to get a bigger venue. Man. Yeah. The, See, time. that's what it is. That's what that's it is. is. You know what I'm saying? All right. Um, listen, Chris, anything else you want to tell? I know you got to go. They give me the signal. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I know what that means. Okay. But what else you got for the people, man? man just, need to catch up. Man, I would say, man, obviously you're getting social networking, IG, Big Crit, Twitter, Big Crit. BigCrit.com, B-I-G-K-R-I-T, go check that. But for the most part, man, just stay blessed, put God first, you know, give your, your people your roses, their roses while they're on the top side of this earth. Man, and stay in the positive, keep the devil out, man, yeah. all the time. Real time, man. Shout out to the OG, the King, Big Crit, King, Thank you, blessers, man. man. Show tonight at the Ready Room, DJ LP. Hey. You know what I'm saying? We gonna get it in right now, it's 100.3 to beat. Where did these things go? Dang, Crit, can we get a couple drops for you? Yeah, yeah, man, I feel bad. I forgot it's a city, bro. He told me I gotta go. It's like New York. Nah, no, I know. Hey, hey. South Africa or Cape Town? I think it might be South Africa. South Africa, yeah. South Africa, so that's like Miami. Yeah, yeah it was like, he was like, bro, you go down there, bro. You ain't gonna wanna come back. It's like, dog, no, it's like, it ain't nothing like if people make it out to be. You know what I'm saying? I mean, in the real life, like, the only. You know, motherfuckers show you what they show on TV and it's all that, but nah, my motherfuckers out there doing too much. They doing it. You the manager? I'm sorry, so can I get your information? Make sure, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna send you a record, Chris. I think you're, you you let's go. Can we get, um, get Hey, what's that? It's your country cousin, Big Crit, third coat, represent a Mississippi native, and you listen to Oh Say the Dog Secret on 100.3 The Beach, y'all.